No matter your position on the death penalty, today's execution, I am sure, is conjuring up strong emotions. And for one man, well, that's an understatement this morning, a man who calls Paul Ezra Rhodes a friend. Mac King has his story. Oh, I'd call him one of my best friends. Don Paradis met Paul Rhodes while waiting to hang for a murder he didn't commit. I'm not trying to blow smoke up anybody's butt, but he's one of the meekest, mild-mannered person I ever met in my entire life. Death Row might seem an unlikely spot to find friendship, but that's exactly what Paradis encountered while waiting to become the last man to hang in Idaho, and perhaps the first to do so knowing he was innocent. Meeting Paul was one of the best things that had happened to me. And going to prison was easily the worst. In 1980, someone murdered a man and his girlfriend in Paradis's home. A jury in Spokane found Paradis innocent, but some sketchy legal maneuvering sent the case to Coeur d'Alene. There, represented by a Coeur d'Alene cop who'd never studied criminal law or tried a case before a jury, Paradis got the death penalty. At first, I wanted to just drop my appeal and get executed. Say, to hell with this, you know, execute me. But sitting in a maximum security cell on Idaho's death row, convicted of a crime he knew he didn't commit, Paradis made a decision. It's like that little cartoon of the stork, and he just ate a frog, and you see the frog reaching out and grabbing him by the, tro the throat. He decided he would fight for his innocence, no matter how long it took. On several occasions, Paradis said he found himself days, even hours away from his execution. But every time, the state postponed. And then, after 20 years, a judge overturned his conviction, and Paradis walked free. I've got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> I just want to go someplace and sit down. And never returned to the old prison. I stopped and looked at it one day, and just, uh, yeah, God. And, uh, it just, I don't know, brings back stuff that I don't want to come back. Until now. I'd like to see Paul Rhodes before he goes. Don Paradis likely won't see Rhodes alive ever again, but he says that won't stop him from returning to the place of his incarceration to protest the execution of his friend. The Paul Rhodes you got sitting there right now waiting to die isn't the Paul Rhodes that walked through the door. Paradis still calls Rhodes one of his best friends. He also knows his pal's current situation better than he'd like. Paradis says that includes Rhodes' mindset as he faces death. Still aches in his heart for his parents, and he's just patiently waiting. Two decades of waiting soon to end, but a friendship Paradis hopes continues beyond this life. I tell Paul, I'd say thank you, Paul, because knowing you helped me to be a better man. When Idaho executes Paul Rhodes, some will say a murderer met justice. Others, that killing brings justice to no man. But for Don Paradis, Friday's execution means his friend won't have the chance to prove he's changed. I'll miss you, buddy. Matt King, today's Channel 6 News. After a conversation with his attorney, by the way, Paradis decided it would be best not to head to the prison this morning. He says at this hour, he is protesting Rhodes' execution from his home.